Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's an evil world, it's an evil life. Dr. Evil. The year 2024. Can you believe it? We've survived, we've made it this far. I have no idea. And already we got one of the worst stories in the light. Ugh. This man hugging, giving a kiss to this little baby who he presumes is his. He is lucky. He has a child. What every parent wants, a happy, healthy young boy with a woman who loves him, I'm sure. Question mark. No, she doesn't. This skanky hanky has ruined his 2024 already. It's over before it's already started. Imagine getting this text. I'm sorry I lied to you for so long kept you around to be here for my baby unfortunately it's not yours straight up it's just not yours um so you lie you pretend this is why you know women all girls are the same you pretty girls are the same trust no one women men gentlemen gentle women there's none no one gives a fuck about you you're on your own for the whole and rest of your life it's not yours and i'm not saying this because i'm getting back with my ex but because i just didn't know how to how to let you go so the fact i don't have the balls to let you go and don't know what to do it means you've got to now suffer and basically i'm gonna lie to you i'm gonna lie to you about this pretender you know it's not like she's lying about where the ten dollars went that was on the count and this isn't oh yeah i i watered the plants kind of lie when you didn't this is a lying about a child who was dropped out of your vagina i presume and the man has helped you been there through the birth and then you tell him it's someone else his kid I, that's just absolutely wild i'm sorry i made you be there throughout everything my whole pregnancy the birth baby shower oh my god it gets even worse she dragged him to all of that basically embarrassed himself turning up to these events for a baby that is not his the kid's not even his holy hell oh my god gosh so imagine that you hang out with all her friends her parents her family you say yes and that's the baby so not only have you lied to him you've lied to all of them like now you've got to go and tell these people your family members that the kid isn't even yours i'm sorry i made you be there throughout everything i hope you can just understand me and if you want you can remove me off everything or if you want to see him you can too so you can remove me off everything or you can see him too very confusing so would you like to see this child that is nothing to do with you but you've probably spent money on it helped me help me help the woman baby shower meet the family help i'm sure pay for things the whole pregnancy itself so actually seeing a baby come out of this woman's privé parts vagina vagina and now it's not even yours i mean what do you do there uh, me personally i know you're really interested in my opinion in my opinion it's over I would not be doing this. I would be gone. Finished. You would never see me again and you would never hear my name. Let me promise you that. I would also send you a detailed list of everything I have spent on you or on the child and you will get a receipt and I expect the money back in my account or I will be sending some very large strong men to steal your TV and sofas which I will pawn off on Facebook Marketplace to make sure I am fully compensated not only emotionally but materialistically as well. I want every penny I ever gave you back and any spare change you're not getting it back i'm just gonna fucking like burn it or at least you know buy a dominoes women ladies females my trust is gone out the window we have one experience one bad experience or our friend or our family someone has an experience with the opposite gender and that's it it's sexism for the rest of your life they're all the same you can't trust them no one likes them more importantly they don't like you they pretend oh yeah i'm on your side no you're not motherfucker no you are not sorry i just really need a sip of water all this aggression this palpitations all this anger i'm gonna have to go let it out somehow so um yeah getting dry mouth starting to think of things violent acts maybe becoming a terrorist that sort of thing obviously that's a joke but women you've really let yourselves down today you know all this nonsense sporadic blah 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 dee da da it's not acceptable not acceptable and like the mess shed it's an evil world so i'm sorry that happened to your brother it might not even been you probably wouldn't you you just like uh, tweeting it oh yeah should we check out epstein you know, he's trending epstein's trending lads donald trump saying these Hi. days yeah. Very well. Kicked to mar -a -Lago. never went to Epstein Island. I don't know, bud. I think a lot of people did. It's just like funny how Epstein didn't kill himself, and yet people still think he did kill himself. But yeah, all these women, fuck these hoes. I love big boobies, but I like garden gnomes. Nice rap. Yes, that's right, I said it. So, I've kind of got a bit distracted here. See, he didn't kill himself. Everyone fucking knows this shite. Oh, I'll show you a cute video, though. Let me let me show you this. Look at the little pussycat trying to... <laughs> Never been to a cinema before. Rookie mistake, bro. You don't fall between the gaps. Bit of a chunky cat, and he's a bit of a Garfield as well. So, if he gets stuck, there's no getting him out. We'd have to get a bloody, like, crane to pull him out. But that's the cutest little cat, in it, though? That, that's the cute little cat, innit? But yeah, sorry about that. I, um, I just wanted to show you this cute little cat. 
Kentucky rain is pouring down. So let's just everyone in the chat respect this homie, this ombre. He's fallen far. Not only does he wear Crocs, I guarantee his missus, well, his ex missus, I hope now, is making him wear. But the baby did not come from his sack. This is just another prime example of women. Generally, no, that's sexist. I'm not sexist. I hate everyone equally. Men are scumbags as well. But this is like 2nd of January, 1st of January. I don't even know anymore. And this is what we're starting the year off with lies, deceit, pregnant women pretend, you know, basically stealing money from men. Because I, I guarantee that's what she did. I reckon he contributed to though, the whole pregnancy, the baby shower, the actual fucking birth itself. Probably carried him home. Do you think the woman just like was like, oh my god, this guy's so nice. I can't lie to him anymore. I have to tell him the truth. Like, yeah, bitch, you do. Tell them the fucking truth. God damn. Why, why are you doing it over text? Do you think maybe actually did not person at 7.55 a.m. as well? So that's his whole day ruined. Done. Forget about it, son. Forget about it. It's absolutely hopeless. You can still you can still look after him, though, if you like, by the way. Yeah, I know I lied. Not your kid, but you can still look after it. Oh, you want to... Why don't you give me fucking money as well to feed it? You know what I mean? It's practically yours. It's more yours than his now. It doesn't matter. You know, you fuck me afterwards. It's the same thing. No, that's terrible. But you know what I mean? Like, just be better. It's humans as a man and woman a female be better be better but yeah that's it look happy new year happy new life happy new day but this is a poor start for 2024 isn't it this is a real poor start for both men and women women you don't look great but man you've just been lied to and had your pants down basically around your ankles for about two weeks look after yourselves lids adios